All right, so let, I want to hear your thoughts. Dude, how do you how are you feeling one day removed from the first round uh and the pick of Will McDonald? If I'm being honest, man, I think I think like the majority of Jets fans, we were just kind of surprised, right? I, I don't think mm -hmm. he was on any of in any of my mock drafts, he wasn't an option. I didn't even see him as being on the board. Um when you look at our our deep our our edge position. It's the deepest position we probably have on our roster. So I really didn't think with that fir that first round pick, that was going to be something we would even attack. The majority of us had offensive tackle. Some of us had wide receiver. Um, some even said, you know what, maybe JMS, right? But ultimately, when the pick was announced, I won't lie. I, I probably um, was more shocked and disappointed that it wasn't mm -hmm. somebody who could be an immediate impact. We're talking about a, a window right now we have with Aaron Rodgers that what, two, maybe three years if we're lucky. And uh, mm -hmm. I look at this pick and I was thinking to myself, man, this isn't a pick that I can see contributing right now in already a really, really deep uh, room, which is the, the edge rusher room. So, initially, I, I was a little disappointed and felt that this was a pick that wasn't a real benefit to what we're trying to accomplish over the next couple of years. But as a positive Jets fan will do, I started watching more and more tape. <laughs> will McDonald. Coping with everything. And He's already here. Hey, I, I started <laughs> sipping on the copism. Uh, and yeah, man, I'm like, you know what? He's a jet. And again, it wasn't a knock at the pick. The, the kid is an incredible mm -hmm. ball player. Like he has a very, very high ceiling if he can reach it. Right. I think the, the biggest concern we have about him is his size um, at the average position. But if you watch some of his tape, man, uh, this guy has a spin move that's reminiscent of a Dwight Freeney. Like it's disgusting. Uh, his balance and his bend is just very Gumby like it's just there's a lot to love about watching his tape. And I think after I finally settled in and said, okay, it wasn't an offensive tackle. Bodrick Jones got God. I think the freaking Patriots fucked us. They did that shit on purpose. <laughs> Let the Steelers move up for a freaking a bag of peanuts. So it wasn't him. But um, when you look at the board, and I'm like, you know what? In terms of, of ceiling, I mean, this guy was the Big 12 leader, all-time leader in sacks with 33, mm -hmm. right? Like, that's, that's, that, that's nothing to sneeze at. So, yes, initially, my reaction was not one that was positive. Um, but just like last year when we drafted Garrett Wilson with the 10th overall pick by some edge rusher, you know, I learned to love that pick real damn quick. And I can see us be doing the same thing here with freaking uh, with McDonald. I love it.